No one. Yeah, use that if you don't mind. Okay. What can I do? There you go, that's much better, isn't it? That is much better for you. And this one. Stun it. If you can, that would be neat. That is not a stunned... Yeah, Horn Cath Hand. I don't know why it said saved. Anyway, yeah, that was not stunned. Hello, Mr. Manta Ray. Right then. Super. It's up here, right? Yeah, it's uh, this way. This is more than likely where we need to be. The door was the same as in the vision that we shared. I'll just be me. What? Is this where we need to be? Aye. Ah, Ruins. Um Well this is our priority, so like I didn't actually commit to doing any, uh, any of those other things. Like I know about them and I said if I find stuff I'll let you know. But currently this is the priority, so you know, I still have that selfish streak and I'm going to, you know, abuse it by going in here. I always check my map just to see, like, get an idea of the size of the place. New stop flashing, right? I've seen stuff. Yes, it's a blast pistol. It's completely unremarkable. Alright. A door. Door is good. Oh, now this is very familiar. Very familiar. This is the place where they were in, in the dream. Don't you remember this, Basler? Bassy? Yep, look, it's an ancient droid. Uh -oh. It sounds the same as every language, you know, but okay. I don't understand you. Is that Wookie? Do you have any idea what the droid is saying, Bastila? I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. There we go. Oops. <laughs> It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. Why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? The builders. Like the one that came before. It must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. Yep. Uh, oh, we're actually going to speak to the droid now? That's very good of us. Why are you here? Starforge! What the hell is that? What the hell is a star forge? Ooh, okay. But what is it? What does it do? Yeah, <laughs> doesn't know. The droid is obviously not programmed with the knowledge we seek. The star forge sounds like some type of weapon, perhaps. In fact, it could be anything. Yeah, could have been a weapon. I mean, it's a forge, right? That makes weapons and stuff. Maybe. That might explain how the Sith were able to amass a fleet so quickly. There you go. I suspect the Star Forge is more powerful than a mere factory. Oh. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. Why don't you ask it something else? Yeah, who are these builders? 
These builders must have been an extinct people, though it is strange there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy, but they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. Maybe it refers to the Sith? The builders are the builders. Okay, 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 okay. Infinite and, and everlasting, but they've died out. That makes sense. Have you seen? Yeah, good point. Have you seen a builder recently? Yeah. And how long have you been here? That sounds like a long time. Ten revolutions would take more than twenty thousand years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. Uh, there must be some mistake. Infallible. Right, so it's a really freaking old droid. Like, So this place is 10, 20,000 years old. It looks pretty good for 20,000 years old, I have to say. Yeah, well, we don't know that we have to find the Star Forge yet, even though I suspect we might. Um, so, yeah, tell me about Revan and Malak. Oh. The droid must be talking about poor Nemo. Oh. The council sent him here to investigate. He was just outside. He was just outside before. I guess I didn't ask him what he was doing, but that's... Did you kill him? Yeah, so how do I prove myself worthy, hmm? I got some nice, nice glasses. Does that work? Can I win on style? Right, proving grounds. More tests. Revan and Malak unlocked the sealed door and uncovered the secrets of the Starforge. Now Malak is using the Starforge to fuel his conquest of the Republic. That's a bit of a jump, isn't it? Find out what they uncovered. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to learn more about the Starforge. The Republic is depending on us. Okay. Oh, oh. You were just you were just around before, dude. You were Oh, the crystal. The sigil. Okay, it does great more damage. Cool. When I get back to the ship, I shall do that and the Jedi Knight Road. Oh, that's a little bit better. That is slightly better the Jedi Knight Road, but it's still rubbish. So I'm not wearing it. Um Right. Let's save. And go through the door. And die. Guardian droid. Okay, kill the guardian droid. And you, do you have stun droid? I'm sure I took it. Oh, wait a minute. Disable droid, there we go. What can I do? I remember to use it, there we go. It is disabled, now kill it. Is it disabled? It's not disabled! My god, that is so much not a disabled droid. Wait a minute, it's like massively powerful. Use it again. And and you and and Um You guys need to do better. Use the disabled droid. Save. Oh that's why it said save, because he saved against the uh is that another one? No. Okay, there's just one of them, but it's tough. It's very tough. Alright. New tactic. Grenade. Oh, wait. No, iron grenade or whatever it is. Um. Um. Why isn't it telling me about what kind of grenade it is? Because it says save up there. Come on, get rid of save. 
Right, thank you. There. You throw one of them. Oh, he is. <laughs> He's throwing something anyway. And you throw one of them. And you need to get the hell out of there. 